Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick overview of The Hand of Destiny. So this game is an 18 card dungeon crawler and it's played completely in your hands. You can see you don't need a table, um, it's all played in your hand. And what you'll be doing in this game is playing as a lone adventurer, uh, fighting through four waves of monsters, and then there's a boss waiting for you at the end of each wave. I want to note right away that... Um, the art you see here, this is all prototype stuff. So the art is placeholder, um, the graphic design, obviously your copy of the game is not going to be taped together <laughs> like my copy is. Uh, so just know that, but it's it's enough for me to show you how the game is going to play. Um, you're going to be using a combination of strength attacks. These are randomly drawn from the back of the deck uh, at the beginning of every wave. So... I'm going to be using these values to try to defeat monsters as they come at me. And then um, my character's abilities are going to be useful as well to sort of manipulate the monsters, sometimes deal direct damage to them. Uh, and also your abilities function as your health. So when I'm taking damage, I'm also covering up some of my abilities uh, and diminishing my health that way. There's a couple of ways to activate your abilities. You can discard a strength card, send it to the back here, and you can activate every ability once that way per wave, uh, but you can also exhaust abilities to activate them. So I could exhaust that and use it. But again, you gotta be careful because this is also your health. So what I might do in this case is, well, first I have to consult the monster's ability. Instant, flip other visible monsters, okay. So the other one I can see, I can see the front and second position by default. Gotta flip him. Uh, okay, that's bad news because Front, take one damage. So when he gets to be the front monster, I have to take one damage automatically. I don't want that to happen. I'm a melee character. Uh, so that's difficult, because using my strength cards, I can only attack this front monster. So I'd probably consult my abilities. And... Yeah. Oops. I could use the throw sword ability to do that nine damage. So I would likely want to activate that ability with a strength card, so I'm gonna spend that strength card. And then that ability that ability activates, I get to send this monster to the underworld. So now I'm down to two strength cards already, and that was my first monster. Uh, what I might do here is spend that 11, it's not very efficient, but it might be what I have to do to defeat that eight. And you'd work your way through the deck like that, um, minding the health of these monsters and um, expending your strength and your abilities uh, to defeat them. So when you get to the end of the wave, you got to face the boss. This boss is going to get stronger every time uh, because you're going to flip and rotate it to the stronger versions for the later waves. And uh, the cool thing about bosses is you can use these critical hits. So I can kind of magnify my strength attacks by also combining it with taking damage. So hopefully you've come in to the boss fight with a decent combination of strength and health left and abilities left, if you have abilities that can help against the bosses, um, to defeat them. So then if we had any luck at all uh, against that boss, we get the reward. If you fail, you take the penalty. You always are moving forward though, so you take the penalty and you'd move on to the next wave if you didn't beat the boss. And then if you have any coins left over, any leftover strength cards, you get those coin values. And then if you, if the boss gives you coin values for defeating it, you get to take that money and take it to the merchant card. Uh, there's a different merchant card for melee and ranged characters uh, based on the type of weapons and stuff that they might thematically uh, want to use. Um, and you're going to spend money at the merchant to heal up, buy potions, um, buy weapons. You can upgrade those weapons as the waves go on if you um, so choose or, and if you have the resources to do so. Uh, and then you'd work your way through it, face the final version of the boss at the end of wave four, and uh, hope you brought enough to that fight to defeat it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy the game.